Oh no, Jaden. Um, <laughs> that's terrible. Can can you hear me okay? I think I got the volume stuff all sorted out. Oh my gosh, there's a, everything went wrong when <laughs> trying to do this stream. We're just gonna vibe for a little bit and let everyone um, funnel in. I'm still eating my dinner actually, <laughs> but I saw you in chat and I wanted to say hi. Welcome, I'm glad you're excited. We are doing Stardew Valley tonight. Yes, you can hear me good, good. I'm actually close enough to my laptop. I figured out some new OBS things um, and I'm close enough to my laptop now that I can read chat straight up on the screen. <laughs> Your opinion is wrong, by the way. Oh, really? Do you think that red apples are better than green apples? Well, defend your point. Defend your point. Why are red ones better? That's true, those are red, but I don't know, I just find green the tastiest. So I'm trying to eat my bagel as we get started here. <laughs> Have you ever seen any of Stardew Valley before, Jaden? How about we eat our own apples? Okay. Yes, we can, we're allowed to disagree on what color of apples are best. Yes, your mom plays and you watch her sometimes. That's cool. Yeah, we are starting fresh. We are loading up soon here. Um, once we give people a chance to get in, because they did go live a little early. Um, we are going to load up a brand new world and start from scratch, which I kind of hate doing. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, what kind of bagels? They are cinnamon raisin bagels, and I put butter on them, and I'm having... A Snapple peach tea with them. I was gonna do a tipsy stream tonight, um, but I couldn't find... We made mudslides a couple days ago, and I guess everyone drank them all, because I could not find them. Um, and I was like, well, maybe I'll do shots, but I kind of didn't want to. And I also couldn't find the liquor for shots. <laughs> so my options are right now are just wine, and I am not the biggest fan of wine. I'm not really a wine person, so... But we'll do, we'll do a tipsy stream another night. Peach Snapple is your favorite. I am not a huge Snapple person. I haven't really tried too much Snapple before. I, I probably only tried it like three or four times or something like that. Like not, not really a lot. Um, but it's good. I do like it. I am. I have had small, slight allergic reactions to peaches in the past, but I think I'll be all right. Um, just give people a couple more minutes. I don't really want to start things up too heavily until nine but i was just sitting here eating my bagel so i figured if anyone was ready to chat then we could cinnamon raisin used to be my favorite but now everything is my favorite i do like everything bagel everything bagels are really good with cream cheese i we have a tim hortons near me and i like to get the um their everything bagels toasted with cream cheese they're so good um, I guess I can read off some of the, okay, so I do have, I believe, I do have follower notifications all set up now. Um, alert, it probably took me four hours to get them set up, but I just wanted to, you were eating peachy yogurt while you were doing Sally Face. Yeah, no, I was, I'm allergic. <laughs> so I wanted to read off the following notifications and thank everyone from, um, our stream five days ago, um, because that was absolutely incredible. So I'm just going to read them off now and thank each and every one of you. Thank you, Lexi917, T-Bird Games, Queen Carabella, Unity Gaming, Vile Insides, Charm and Charlie, Joe Hut91, Nabil225, X Girl Germs, and Big Mama26112. Thank you all so much for the follows. Um, a little, I'm a little late <laughs> on catching up on the notifications and everything, but thank you all so so much. Um, we do have alerts now, I believe, for everything. So thank you all again. It means the world. We are actually at 42 followers right now, which is just um, eight away from affiliate. So yeah. 
Um, as soon as I'm, I'm on the last little segment on my bagel here, and when I'm done, we will start up uh, Stardew. You won't be here super long? Okay. You have uh, things to do. Ooh, interesting. What things do you have to do if you're comfortable sharing? Is it, oh my gosh, is the things that involve violence? Yeah, is it Dead by Daylight? <laughs> I'm um, just doing a couple things really quick. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Well, we will see. Mm. All these people have been telling me like, you can shout yourself out in my Discord if you'd like. Um, and I'm gonna take advantage of that because that's very kind of them. Okay, um, sorry, I still have a little bit more bagel <laughs> to get through. Let me finish this. Oh, you could if you want to, Jaden, but no worries if you have to, if you would rather go, that's fine. Absolutely, like, there's no pressure to be here. Just you stopping by is more than enough. Thank you for that. Friendship is nice, that's true, that's true. Okay, I finished my bagel. Um, I like to pull up streams and in between queues, which I know if you're playing killer, they're not gonna be that long at this time of night, but in between queues and in between games, just let people know how I did. Um, I'll just like state in the chat that like, hey, like I got a 4K last round or oh, I didn't do so well here. I'm proud of this. And we have we watched Llamas with Hats? I've seen Llamas with Hats. Um, okay, so we have our PNG tuber. He is big. Let me make him a little smaller. I don't have the version of him with the room up behind him yet. Does that look like a good size? Or is he still too big? Green apples do be better. Yes, thank you, haha. -ha. Thank you. Yes, large boy. Is he a good size? Am I a good volume? Oh, let me turn my music off and get started going. Thank you for being here, haha. -ha. I appreciate it. Okay, there's that music off. Okay, there you shouldn't be able to hear any game yet. And now you should. I love you too, haha. <laughs> it's great to see you. Okay, so here's the situation that I just want to fill you guys in on really quickly. Um, actually, maybe I can mute my computer. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Can you guys still hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, no, can you hear the game? Is everything sounding good? Sorry, I'm messing with my headset, um, but other than that, does everything sound good? <laughs> Can I time them out for this? Don't time- no, don't time Jaden out. We love Jaden. Your opinion is wrong and okay. <laughs> You'd no, Jaden, no, no, you're not- no, don't time Jaden out. Don't- don't time Jaden out. Okay. You can hear. Okay, perfect. Because Stardew- was so loud in my ear it was absolutely awful because i have um i'm using obs now and i do not know how to um make it so i can't hear obs in my ear at the same time as i'm streaming so i'm just gonna mute my whole laptop so i can't hear anything at all okay we are picking how our farmer looks i'm just gonna make them look like me kind of vaguely okay um, and we'll go with the intro. We'll just do our normal intro. 
since uh, I think it's some of you, some of you guys' first time ever. You're getting the green apples, though. Yes, green apples are excellent. Um, eye color. Oop, that's hair. That is hair. Eye color. There we go. <laughs> I have I have kind of blue green eyes. It's so hard to see, it's so far away. Okay, I think that's about right. Okay, animal preference. Let's see. My defense for red apples is that Honeycrisp are my favorite and those are red. I promise I am tight better. This keyboard just hates me. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, uh, okay. Do we want a cat or a dog? I'm gonna flip through them really quickly. There's a couple cat choices and a couple dog choices. Do we want a cat choice or a dog choice? I'm gonna pick, but um, like I'm gonna pick which cat or which dog, but I want you guys to participate some in this as well. Cat, 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 cat. Okay, any strong opinions on cat versus dog? Haha. -ha. Or are we good with cat? I'm gonna go with the little gray cat if so. Kitty, okay, okay, okay. And my favorite thing is green apples. <laughs> Which it's gonna take me a minute to type because I am on the TV right now. Yeah, okay, so I just promised that I would tell you guys what was going on and why we had so many issues uh, up till, till the start of stream and weren't really sure what we were doing. Okay, come, like, we gotta come up with a farm name. Um, so you guys think of a farm name while I explain why I had no idea what we were doing today. Um, and do we like, uh, we'll go with day. We'll, we'll name me day and not daybreak. So, we need a farm name, but, um, yes, we love cats, we love cats in this house. We have two, I have two cats, actually. Mm, I'm assuming that's meant to say murder farm. Okay, I'm still taking suggestions. So, I, uh, without giving away, like, too much, like, personal information, um, I don't live alone in the house that I live in, and I have to have the, I have to use the TV to stream from my Switch. And we had a couple of issues um, where I it was unclear who needed to use the television. Um, and I, you do not enjoy my bad suggestions. I, I enjoy them. I just don't want our farm to be murder farm. I, I got a TOS here, Jane, TOS. Um, yeah, so... Um, not on top of technical difficulties that I was having that miraculously did work themselves out at the last second, thankfully. Um, we were having issues. I'm glad. I'm glad you're having fun. We're just going to call it... I feel like calling it Twitch Farm is, like, really boring. What do you guys want to call the farm? We could do Twitch Farm. We could do... You guys don't really have, like, a name. Like, I know some streamers have names for their chats, but I don't know. We don't have one. What do you guys want to be? Meadow Farm? Meadow Farm is nice. I like that. Let's do Meadow Farm. Let me see if I know how to spell Meadow. Meadow Farm. There we go. You're struggling out here with your laptop. I'm sorry. Um, and we're going to leave green apples all lowercase. So, it is time to pick our, like, what type of farm we want. I personally prefer the beach farm. That is my favorite type of farm. But, since this is your first, um, I believe several people in chat, this is their first time ever watching Stardew. I might just want to go with standard farm for you. You want beach farm? What are we thinking for the type of farm? You, you all, you think on it and let me know. Um, I have to send a message really quick. Cause my mod is not in here. Um, and she usually is. <coughs> Haha's here, Haha's lovely, I love Haha thinking beach i can read um let you guys read about each of the types of farms if you want standard farms pretty simple riverland i tried that one recently on another save that we might actually play on here but it's good for fishing um which i've gotten a little better at 
Forest farm. I hate forest farm. We're not doing that one. Hilltop farm is okay, but I feel like the benefits aren't worth it. Um, like it's the the way that this space is laid out isn't good. I don't want wilderness farm. We don't need four corners. So kind of beach, river, or standard is what we're looking at. No, it's okay, haha. No, no, my um, I, I had another uh person who I expected to be here, and they aren't here, so I just wanted to. No, no, I, I'm not. No, you're good, haha. -ha, you're good. I love you. Um, I was. I'm just trying to figure out where. Um. No, no. We, we. I'm just trying to find someone. Um. That's all. Another one of my mods I expected to be here and isn't here, so I'm just checking on them. <laughs> Stardew Valley is multiplayer, yes. Um, but I did clarify that I do have a mod in chat, which is you, and you are lovely. Um. Yeah, you can have over here. We're not going to change anything, but you can have um, cabins that you put in um, for for other players. So we could do some community Stardew if you wanted sometimes. It is not Quan. Um, I never expect Quan to be anywhere, honestly. Uh, that man lives his own life. So do we want standard river or beach? It is up to you guys. That's a good guess, though, haha, <laughs> no. I'm trying to find- I don't know where my, um, girlfriend is right now. I was expecting her to be here. She's usually here, and she's not, so... I'm just curious. Yes, you are the mod, haha, <laughs> is the best mod. So I guess it just depends on what you guys want to see the most. Which is, like, do you guys want... Ooh, my FPS just, like, spiked really bad. We might not be able to do PNG tuber. Let me know if PNG tuber is is um, laggy or not. Like if things are lagging out a whole lot. It looks like on my end, it looks like everything is okay. Quan hasn't been streaming late enough for me, so I see no one streaming anymore except me. Ah, I'm sorry you can't catch Quan streams. Okay, she's on her way. She's on her way. He's doing good right now. Good, good. Okay. <clears throat> I apologize for clearing my throat. My voice is still a little recovery from. Um, earlier <laughs> from from our long stream you do not like sturdy much but maybe it will be more fun with you yeah I hope so um we might if you guys are interested in doing community stardew nights that's I've been talking about a community game night pretty much since I started streaming okay we are gonna do the Riverland farm since uh, we are very indecisive people um, was a big stream it made you like Dead by Daylight lots Yes, I'm glad. Okay, is everyone cool with everything that's here? We like the way our little character looks. We like, I kind of hate the shirt. I'm not going to lie. I want a different shirt. <laughs> that's cute. The overalls. I have to change the pants color to match though. Does that look like it matches? Thank you for lurking, Sam. <laughs> that's a cute shirt. I don't know. I'm very indecisive on the shirt right now. Mm. Folks, this is how I am getting dressed in the morning, too. <laughs> Let's see. And everyone else is good with everything we've chosen. Okay, we'll do the blue button now. That one's cute. Before I, before I change my mind. Okay, in we go. And let me know if things are terrible with the VTuber and look bad. Do you want me to read the intro dialogue to you? And for my very fast special grandson. I don't know if... Okay. I want you to have the sealed envelope. You get dressed wild? I do not. I do get dressed in the morning. I work, though. Jaden, I work. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. I haven't seen this intro in a while. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Everything looks good. Yay, I'm glad. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. I'm hoping that the PNG tuber will work when we're doing capture card streams. And he's not too big. I'm covering a little bit of the text, but I think that's okay. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Okay, I'm going to shrink him a little more so that he's not covering any text. Just a tiny bit. Now let grandpa rest. XX years later, like an undisclosed XX. 
Joja, join us thrive. It is work time. We are working. I want to add a lot more stuff to the PNG tuber, and I will be a billion times more motivated to do so if um, I know that the tuber is something I can have sometimes. And we are stressed out at our office job. That looks like me in bed right now. I don't know how far behind the stream is, but yeah, it's, it opens with our grandfather literally just dying. Like, that's the start. Oh, I'm supposed to click that. <laughs> Dear Day, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost the sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. Meadow Farm, that's our farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the Southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, love, Grandpa. I have beef with Stardew, which is that there's no non-binary option. <laughs> Very love them. Yes, we love we love your crunchy uh, eyebrows. We love your crunchy elbows. <laughs> if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? So Lewis is one of the characters. Okay. Can you guys let me know when you are done reading the letter on stream? Can you... Well, never mind. You're going to hear this after we're done reading the letter. <laughs> I think you're only a couple seconds behind me. I think it's like maybe six. <laughs> Eyebrows all done. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Stardew Valley. We're not going to skip anything. We're going to watch all the cutscenes for the new people. Can you guys see all the dialogue okay? Um, behind me? Hello, you must be Day. Do you guys want me to read the dialogue or do you want to read it on your old? On your own, sorry. Mobile is extra slow though, that's true. Um, I'm gonna read the dialogue until I get feedback from you guys. Hello, you must be Day, this is Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and to show you the way to your new home. He's right up there now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Read for us if you want. Yeah, I do. I'll read them. I'll read it out for you guys. Because that lets me kind of know how long I should sit on a single dialogue box. Um, is everything still looking good with the tuber? Not lagging out too much. This is Meadow Farm. Not covering anything important. I can see, I prefer dialogue to be read. Okay, I will continue reading the dialogue. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I also want to mention that I do have a migraine. I've had a migraine since about six or seven, and it is making me, um, it is making um, me a little bit spacey and it's making it a little harder to read so if i'm messing up dialogue and stuff please just bear with me um i'm going to do my best i do want to read it to you guys that is what i prefer as well but um just just keep that in mind as i'm reading i have had i have a hard time having a brain today <laughs> no baby yes no babies none for you And here we are, your new home. And that is Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. And also, please call me out if I am skipping through dialogue and, like, I forget that I'm supposed to be reading it and letters and things. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. I love that, it's so cute. I don't like the, I don't like how red it is, but um, it's fine. Rustic, that's the one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. Rude. <laughs> I would be worrying if it was every day. If what was every day, Jaden? 
Don't listen to her day. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. We will be buying her house upgrades. <laughs> Your arc is having a bad day. Oh, people moving in daily. Gotcha. Yeah, no, it would be. It's a small town, so like they can't really support people moving in daily. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit more and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Um, people in chat, um, specifically Haha and Jaden, because those are the people in chat. <laughs> have either of you, I know Jaden said that um, they've played a little bit of Stardew and watched their mom play it. Um, Haha, have you played any Stardew? Just put him in the ocean, yes. Well, good luck. And off they go. Let's just eat landlords, exactly. Let's just eat landlords, haha. -ha. I completely agree with this. Also, I forgot to mention, we have a couple new commands in chat, um, neither of which, uh, let me pause. So when you open, if you're in single player, when you open up this, your inventory, um, it pauses. Um, we have um, one row of inventory unlocked and we can unlock the other two with upgrades later on. You have not ever seen Stardew. Okay, gotcha. So we have two new, sorry, I'm so scatterbrained today. We have two new chat commands. Um, let me see if I can remember them. One is an Amazon wish list that has some stream stuff on it. It's all relatively expensive. So like, do not feel obligated to buy anything off there. I just thought I would make one because I've seen other people do it just in case anyone wants to. You're sleepy, but want to play games. Yes, I feel that, Jaden. I really feel that. And then the other one is, I believe, exclamation mark cards, which is for stream loots, um, which also costs money. I made it as cheap as I physically could, but it's just a way for you to interact with and more specifically mess with the stream. Um, I believe we have a bunch of Stardew cards on there. Funny because my landlord actually isn't that atrocious. <laughs> yeah. I would if I were not a baby child. No, it is okay. No, Jaden, you do not have to. I, this is in no way like anything that is expected or anything like that like don't if you don't have the means to to give like that you do not have to but it's just there in case someone wants to um it's optional 100 percent optional i want to give you items that are better than tiny oh no i i appreciate everything you've ever given me Jaden. You received 15 parchment snips seeds. Oh my goodness. Here's a little something to get you started. This is what the whole thing is going to be like. I usually spend the first day just completely rearranging my house. I'm going to avoid doing that. Um, and someone, when we are upgrading the house, if you remember, have me try taking all the furniture out of the house and putting it into my chest, please. If you, if you remember. Okay. I'm very nervous now because I'm worried I'm going to like scuff things, but... We're going to just get our seeds planted. That's what we're going to do first. We have a very... Okay, so... I don't think I'm actually hiding anything. Can you guys see my pointer? I'm sure you can, but I can't get it to point where I want it to point. <laughs> you found the Quan, Quan command. Okay, I may t just test them because I'm curious. Well, yeah, of course. Yes, can see. Okay, so in the bottom right, I'm just gonna have to talk you through it because I can't move my cursor the way I want. In the bottom right, oh wait, maybe I can. Nope. Okay, in the bottom right, <laughs> we have my energy bar. Um, if we're in an area where where anything can hurt us, we will also have a health bar. And um, reminder here for people in chat. To I did not know we had a follow which command. Cool. Um, to make sure you're not spoiling things for other people who have not seen the game yet. In the top right, we have the day. Um, so it's Monday, it's the first Monday. Um, it just kind of goes like one through 30, 28 or something like that. I don't remember. Um, and that's a season. So each month is also one season. Um, I just added stream elements like not long ago. So I think we have new commands that I, I even I haven't seen. Under that is the time, um, it shows you the time of day, and it shows you the amount of money I have, which is 500 right now. That exclamation mark is my quest, I'll pull up the quest page. 
Um, getting started, if you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the, till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. So the blue with the arrow next to it, or like purpley color, is what I have to do. Um, so I have to greet every single person in town. Um, and I'm not going to pull up the list of people because there are spoilers there. So this is my crafting menu. We also have... I have to be careful here. Um... This is, like, the list of, like, everything that is in the game. Um, these are my controls, which I do have to change a couple of. I always turn on auto run, and I always turn on placement tile. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, placement tile indicator. Oops. And then crafting. That's the list of people I'm talked to. These are my skills and my wallet, um, where I can just keep, uh, it, like, and automatically put stuff in there. Don't worry, I don't know anything relevant. Can't split us. You know, I do what's hap have no idea what's happening. Yes. And then my inventory, and this is where I can put on, like, clothes and stuff. Um, I can have two rings, a hat, shirt, pants, and boots. So, we are just going to clear out a small area um, to, to plant our parsnips really quick. And we're not going to go overboard with clearing because we need to save our energy for a couple other things. So one thing about Sturdy Valley that I also don't love is um, the, the hardest thing that I found was actually navigating the town. Whenever I first started, I had a really, really difficult time with it. Uh, I would constantly get lost. Um, my girlfriend taught me how to play the game and I was constantly get lost. It's really easy to miss cut scenes and like not not trigger them just by accident because you didn't know you need to go to a certain place to trigger them or do a certain thing in that place like you could easily play the game for years and never trigger one of the like m most important cutscenes in the entire game um perfect i did i did that right <laughs> so we're just gonna plant and water i feel like the tutorial in this game is rubbish but other than that it's a really cute little cozy game curiosity has been sated it's nice i'm glad haha -ha. I'm so excited to play this game on stream. This is something I've been playing a lot off stream. And I'm so happy that I get to introduce it to you guys. Because um, I just adore this game. I really don't love the grind at the start. Um, until the mine is open. Which is um, something we can do later on. But until the mine is unlocked. Um, I just. It's like meh. You know. I'm trying to remember how I like to keep my inventory now i feel like this goes here and that goes there and then there's another tool that's gonna go there okay okay so we need to chop some wood i try not to so um this like tall grass here that i'm in right now you can break and um later on there's a way to store it um but not until the mine is open so i don't really want to do anything with it or to it until I can store it um, because I've had issues in other Stardew saves of not um, not having enough of it stored, and it can be really expensive if you don't store enough. So to like buy um, the supplies you need uh, to replace that having that stored. We're just trying to get to 50 wood here so we can make a chest to store stuff in because we have really really limited. Um, item space you can see we're like literally our inventory is almost full right now okay we have 50 wood we can make a chest and i'm gonna do my how the setup exactly how i normally set things up um so i put a resources chest first which is kind of just going to be everything right now and we put things like fiber stone sap things we use to craft in here i have to sneeze i'm gonna mute for that hopefully Okay, no, it's not happening. Hopefully, if I mute randomly, that's what's happening. If I'm sneezing, um, I want to get as much wood chopped as I can day one. So we're gonna work on that. I did recently find out that if you buy a physical copy of this game, you it comes with a little booklet, and that's kind of nice. Um, because the booklet tells you just a touch more about everything. But if you have guys have any questions, please, please feel free to ask me. And I will do my absolute best to explain what is going on in the game. <laughs> but the premise of the game is kind of you're, you're this overworked, um, stressed 
stressed person and you are um just kind of moving out here to your grandfather's old cabin to get away from everything you actually can marry people in this game which is not something i've ever done in any of my other worlds but yeah so um these little wiggly spots this one here you can hit with your hoe which i'm gonna do and it'll give you cool stuff um it gives you a lot of clay you can get artifacts which are rare here um you can pick stuff up off the ground as well and sell that yeah. So do you guys want me to, um, there is a bit of grinding to be done in these worlds. Do you want to see all of it? Do you want me to do everything on stream? Or do you want me to not and spare you? Um, and you can change your minds later if you want, but like, what's the vibe right now? Like, do you want most of the grinding and like trying to trigger cutscenes and stuff to be done off screen? Or do you want to see all of that? So when we run into people, I'm going to talk to them as well, because it's for my quest. So this is Leah, um, she's pretty. <laughs> I quite like her. I um, might marry her in one of my other worlds, but I'm not quite sure. I'm also probably gonna let you guys, if I do marry someone, um, I will probably let you guys pick that, but I'm not entirely sure. You do not care either way, you are just happy to be here. I'm so glad. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely, the spring is lovely, Leah. It's amazing. You can also search through the trash cans, but if you do it in front of someone, you lose friendship points, um, depending on who it is. So we're gonna search the trash cans. They can give you really good items, actually. This is Alex, who's someone I've also considered marrying. So hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. It's Alex. He's like a sporty type dude. Leah's an artist. I think Leah will be Haha's -ha favorite. <laughs> this is um, sort of a like calendar of events and people's birthdays. And then eventually we will have a help wanted like postings listed here. But for now, we're just gonna kind of try and go around and get to meet everyone. Yeah, I know the clinic hours. Oh God, is he not here just in his room? Harvey works at the clinic, but no one's here right now. Um, Pierre's is one of the main shops. Oops. This is Abigail. Sorry, I skipped the dialogue. Uh, she said, oh, that's right. I heard someone was moving into the old farm out there. I'm not picky. I probably like to watch the grind. Also, I love redheads. <laughs> that or Abigail. I feel like you might like Abigail. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. I... I'm gonna be honest, and this is gonna make a couple people mad. I don't like Abigail. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. I love Evelyn. She is so sweet. Abigail's just so rude to you at the beginning. I don't like any of the ones that are just, like, outwardly, randomly rude at the beginning. This is Pierre's wife, Caroline. Hello, you must be Day, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. Have you met our daughter, Abigail? Um, she's the pale one with the purple hair. Yep, I met her. Like Sebastian, I don't like that much. Hey, it's Mr. Day, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, the owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. So you can sell food or fruits and stuff to her. I think she's pretty purple hair. Yeah, you like Abigail? Okay. Um, I don't, she's just so rude at the start. Like she gets nicer later if you get to know her better, but I don't, I feel like you should just be kind to people who, even if you don't know them that well, like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, yeah. A little agriculture could really inject new new life into the local economy. Okay, so you can sell stuff to him, um, and he'll buy it from you immediately. So, like, I can put this flower in the shipment bin, or I can sell it right to him, and it'll give me 30 gold in the morning, or I can sell it to him right now, and I can get 30 gold immediately. So, it's just another thing you can do, but he won't buy anything. Unfortunately, I met Abigail. What do you mean you met Abigail? Like, you like her or don't like her? Um, I don't like George. Because he's rude. It's irritating now to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. No, buzz off. Like, excuse me, sir? Like, I am a newbie in town and you are just going to yell at me for no reason? Um, One of the people we need to meet isn't in town today so we're gonna have to meet him tomorrow willie the fishing guy we need to get friends with him real fast in this world 
he we are gonna work on him hard and try and get him to be our friend soon this is Georgia Corp. Um, we're here to meet Pam first. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. I love Pam. <laughs> Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. She reminds me of a coworker of mine uh, who's just an absolute doll and who I adore. This is Shane. He works here. I don't like him. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Sam's all right. Sam's on the clock, but I'm not getting in trouble. Yeah. I don't know who's working the register. I think it might be Penny. But I have no idea, I'll be honest. I've played this game for a while and I have no idea. This is Morris. Welcome to Georgia Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Georgia Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Georgia member, I'll be your delighted I'll be delighted to help you make your transition a joyous experience. Okay, there's actually two routes we'll be able to take in the game later on. One is becoming a Joja Court member, and one is working on um, a rundown community center. And I'm not going to ask you guys to make that decision right now, but I am going to have you pick which one we do later on. So, important things to remember is that we used to work at Joja Mart. Um, we used to work kind of for them. And that was the job that we, like, left. I actually don't think I need to meet this guy. There's a book missing here. So we can find lost books when we're, like, hoeing the wiggle worms on the ground. Hello there. Welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Yeah, I'll let you know. He's fine. He d he stays behind the desk. I don't think he's, like, a character you can, like, meet and talk to. This is Clint. I don't like him. He's, like, eh, you know. Or, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. We will need to upgrade our tools. Jojo Mart stinky. Though. It's up to you guys. If you don't want Jojo Mart, then vote for not Jojo Mart when it comes time to vote. Um, I think I'm gonna have that vote. Ooh, this is Elliot. I... I've also considered marrying him. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. He is a writer, um, which immediately drew me to him. <laughs> I will admit. Um, well, Louis is down here. So you can collect shells and stuff on the beach. I also just like the beach a lot, and I like that he lives on the beach. So I'm 100% going to forget what we need to be doing. But what we need to be doing right now. Okay, we found our first lost book. You're not a fan of him? You're not a fan of Elliot. I thought you'd like him. You found a lost book. The library's collection has been expanded. Okay, we need to repair this bridge with 300 wood as soon as possible. This is Elliot's little cabin. And we need to come down here every day to talk to Willie every single day and possibly give him a gift if we can. I know he likes quartz, which is what I usually give him, but, um, gone fishing. I'll be back tomorrow, but we can't get into the mine quite yet, but we do need to just talk to him every day if we can, because I need to be, we need to get, um, so the people here have hearts that you can fill up so you can, if they're not romanceable, like Evelyn, the one that I'm hovering, hovering over, then you can get all the way up to 10 hearts um, normally, and they will all fill up red eventually if you talk to them and give them gifts that they like. But they also have things they don't like, um, which is not ideal. And as you talk to people and become better friends with them, they will have cutscenes and things um, for you. And Ab like people like Abigail, Leah, Alex, they are romanceable. You can marry them. So you can only get up to 8 hearts. Yeah, eight hearts, sorry. <laughs> you can only get up to eight hearts without um, without giving them a bouquet to start dating them. And then when you unlock the tenth heart, you can ask them to marry you. And they will move into your house. But I think we might do... Um, I'm trying not to spoil things, but I'm also trying to like explain what's going on and what route we're going to take. We may do something slightly different. Oh my god, I hate Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you may actually be cute. It's like just the people that aren't nice. I don't like. Um, we already met Sam. Let's see if there's anyone in Sam's house. 
No. We're just gonna try and meet everyone as fast as we can. I'm gonna wait for him to go inside and then search this trash can. Nothing yet. There's so much to explain in this game that it's like hard to for me to know what to do. Oops. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Penny's kind of shy. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru, I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. It is exciting. Maru's dad, I, my character is not gonna get along with very well. This is just a warning for you folks, Demetrius. Um, you're not going to be the best of friends. I will say that, because I don't like lying to people. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the salon. Saloon, sorry, that's where I work. She loves fashion and stuff. I am working on marrying Emily in one of my other worlds. Jaden goes bye bye now, but I hope the rest goes well. Thank you so much, Jaden. Thank you for being here. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you had fun. Enjoy, if you do play Dead by Daylight, enjoy Dead by Daylight. If you're going to bed, then good night, and I hope you sleep well. Um, okay, we need to go up here. There's a cutscene to trigger, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know how to trigger it, but I do know that it involves coming up here. Stardew Valley also has a lot of secrets to it. Um, and one is up here, and we will try to get it, but... Um, it's a little tricky. You have to hit in, like, the right spot on the ground. And I do not have a ton of energy, and I'm currently wasting it harvesting these weeds. Oh, I'm not even gonna have room in my inventory. What do we want to leave up here? Um, we'll get it, we'll get it tomorrow. We'll get it in the morning. So this is the old community center. It is very run down, as you can see. It's locked, um, so we're just gonna touch that, and then go to the other spot we need to go to. So in this game, you pass out at, I believe, two in the morning, and um, if you go to bed after midnight, then you start, you don't get as much energy back in the morning, otherwise, and health back as well. Um, Otherwise, it'll refill both of those meters. Um, the health meter is only visible if you're in an area where you can be injured or if you are um, you have been injured and haven't fully healed yet. I may have gone a bad way. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going to have to mine this. Oops. Break a couple things to get down here. Shoot. Okay, we might have to do this in the morning because I don't know if I can get through all these bridges. And I don't have a ton of energy left to be breaking things. Oh wait, I think we can, uh, we can't even break this big one. We have to go around. Yeah. Oh God, we went the wrong way. I'm bad at judging spaces that I can and can't fit through. Okay, we made it down. Um, There's another couple people that live down here. It's just the town is so big and spread out. Can you guys see okay on my screen? I know it's darker at nighttime, but I'll try make a habit of trying to go to bed earlier if it's hard for you to see at night. Oh, I can't even pick that up. So we need to go to this building here. It's hard for me to see, Jesus. Okay, we'll try and we'll try and get to bed by 10 every night. It's locked. You can hear someone inside though. Okay, now we're going to head up to bed. So the forageable items refresh every day, so those dandelions that we had to leave behind won't be there tomorrow. But I do, a lot of people like the daffodils that are in my inventory, so I want to keep them. I can hear my cat nearby. Hopefully he is in a nice mood. Uh, I think this is the way we came. A lot of the river farm is weaving through these islands until you get a chance to clear them all up. And, like, get the items that you can't run through broken and removed and out of the way and stuff. So, we're gonna ship some things out. Um, I think that's all fine to ship. And then we'll put these away. And work on getting some more chests tomorrow. 
And let me guys know. Oh, I can turn this off. Let me guys know if you change your mind about like grinding and stuff. Like if you want to um, save that stuff for later or for off camera. Like I can do that on my own off the stream. Sorry, just taking a drink of my tea. Um, you can just let me know about that. But for now, we will say we will try and I'll try not to do anything at all off camera. I'll try to do it all here. Um, I think I want to make it a couple more days. Okay, it's a neutral day. Um, the TV will tell you how lucky the day is gonna be. Only cats here. Hello, cat. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Piers got you covered. Stop by Piers General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I believe it is a thousand gold for the size 24 backpack. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. So that guy we do need to talk to. Um, and I'm going to put away... I need to water my parsnips. I need to not forget... I'll talk about this more when it comes time to decide Joja Mart versus Community Center, um, which path we are taking. Um, Joja Mart does kind of let you take the game a little more easy. Um, and if you screw something up in the Joja Mart route, it is much easier to fix it as opposed to the Community Center route. Um, the Joja Mart route also does sometimes feel a little hypocritical since so much of the game seemed like you came out here to get away from Joja Core. Um, also, people don't like it. They don't like Joja Mart. It's, and for good reason, it's a terrible, terrible place. Okay, we have to visit the beach. Um, but it, there's basically upgrades you can get for the town, and with the community center, you have to get those upgrades by, um, by collecting crops and things and donating them to the community center, and with Joja Core, you just buy the upgrades out front, which is not a route I've ever taken. Um, but if we do community center, we'll probably do them both on stream. Um, and if you guys want to, um, we'll just see if we can get a catfish or not. If you guys are interested in seeing both routes, we can do that. This isn't how I normally go through the town, but it's okay. I have like a set route that I run through the town. I almost skipped that cutscene. <laughs> so we are all the way down at the dock at the bottom of the dock. It just takes you right there when you go to the beach. Oh, hi there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month's out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Awesome. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from my shop once in a while. We will. You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. I like Willie. He's like, he's friendly. He gives us a gift the first time he meets us. Like, that's the kind of guy that I want to be friends with. Who's just nice and welcoming to the newcomer. And, oh, hi there. It's nice to see young folks moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. Okay, we've got to talk to him daily because we just got to. So fishing in this game, I kind of want to talk about, well, we'll talk about it a little bit. Fishing in this game is um, very different than in any other game. So you cast your line out. I, I'm trying to hit that spot um, with the bubbles. There we go. Because um, it makes the fish go faster. And you have to press Y, like spam Y, to keep the fish in this green bar. And it is, it's tricky, all right. And it starts off very small. Um, you lose progress if the fish is outside of the bar, but um, not on the first fish you catch. So this is going to be rough to start, as you can see. I am not used to fishing with such a small um, bar. On my other world, I have a much... As we level up our fishing skill, it'll get better. 
Oh my god, this is awful. But we have to do it. Like, we have to suffer. Ugh, I lost the fish. Okay, we're eventually. We're not gonna do that right this second, but we do have to suffer for a while to get our fishing skill up, basically. Okay, we need wood for this, and we need to talk to Willy, and that is pretty much our goals. Um, I'm gonna check the calendar in town and see when the egg festival is, because I definitely don't want to do that today. I want to save the egg festival for another Stardew stream. Okay, egg festival's on the 13th. And how long have I been live? I'm trying to decide how much to do today. This might be a shorter stream. Oh, I've been streaming an hour. Okay, we'll go to day 10. <laughs> I didn't want it to be like a super, super short stream or anything. Have you met my mother? She's the town carpenter. I kind of have. I met her day one. Um, we're going to go up here and I'm going to check on the mine's progress. Um, it, the mine starts blocked off. Ooh, copper ore. Okay, we're going to have to fix that so that Stream Elements and Nightbot don't both tell me the uptime. Um, but I do all my commands with Nightbot. We'll just have to see. I'll, I'll fix that later. Haha, ha, if you're in chat uh, and you know how to fix that, let me know. <laughs> this is Linus. He is a sweetheart and I love him. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. He? Okay, Linus. I'm going to pause and talk about... Well, okay, I'll let you guys see the rock. We can watch the little minor guy work. Um, yeah, we'll work on the rock for now. Linus is... A lot of people think he's homeless. He's not homeless. He chooses to live in a tent in the woods that's his tent up there on the hill the yellow one um if you like pay more attention to his dialogue and stuff it becomes clear that he is not homeless he is just choosing to live in a tent in the wild um this is what he likes and some of the town people judge him for it and i don't think that's right i think they should let him live how he wants to live he like dumpster dives and stuff for food and oh i can give him some food as well What, what type of fish is this? It's not a catfish, okay. Um, someone wanted a catfish. So ask if you have any questions and let me know. Um, this is where Maru lives and her family and Robin. And this is Demetrius. He's not gonna like us. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, the local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Mario? She's interested to meet you. I have met her. And Sebastian... I think it's Sebastian who lives in the basement. Yeah, we can't go into their rooms until we're better friends with them, though. Also, let me know if my PNG tuber is covering things. Because if he's covering too much of the screen, we can we can move him and stuff. But it looks like it, we're not lagging with him, so that's good. I'm just gonna check on the community center door every day to see if that is different. Oh, and we can get our little secret here. Okay, so back behind, if you don't wanna hear secrets, then go away for a second. I'm not sure exactly where it is. There it is. Okay, we are just, we're just doing this back there and it gets us this little, this little statue, which I can show you guys. And it's cute. I love it. So these um, little creatures that we'll meet later holding a little star up and it's adorable. And we're gonna go put it on our farm for decoration. And then we're gonna chop down some trees. I'm not too worried about meeting everyone right now. In the past, I've tried to meet everyone like as fast as possible, but we'll run into them eventually. Um, the only person I'm super worried about being friends with is Willie um, because he unlocks, being friends with him unlocks some stuff. And I don't know. There might be more things that I don't know that like means that I should absolutely be friends with another person as well. But can I put this on my porch or is it too big? Oh, I can put it on my porch. Um, I can't put it on that side. I can put it there though. That's cute. There we go. Okay, let me drop a couple things off. Um, I'm just gonna kind of sell as much stuff as I can right now. I don't wanna have a bunch of stuff stored for no reason, you know? 
And then we need to take this drum over to the museum where you can donate things to their collection because it's a little lacking um, at the moment, if you couldn't tell. And then this little water dish will eventually be for our cat that we chose at the start of the game. And I'll let you guys help name it. Um, so hopefully it doesn't get here before we are done for today because I do want to save that for another stream. But yeah, thank you guys for being here and for coming out today. I know we had a lot of trouble deciding what we were going to do tonight, but I'm glad we got it figured out. I'm glad we're playing a little bit of Stardew. We just kind of want to get as much wood as we can with their energy. We need to make two more chests at least. I would like three more to start with. And we also need 300 wood for that bridge. And we just kind of need to clear up the ground a little bit. It's hard to run around when all this stuff is in the way. And then we'll work on upgrading our things soon. Um, but we have to wait till the mine opens up. I think it opens up day seven. I'm not sure on that. But my migraine is kind of starting to get to me. We definitely won't go past day 10, but just, we'll, we'll just go as long as I'm able to. A um, couple more days at least. We can come down here. Okay, that's good to know. I don't want to do- I know a lot of people who usually watch my streams aren't in chat right now. Um, it'll tell you how much energy you have. Whoops. Okay, we have to stop chopping. Um, if you run out of energy the first day, you'll go really slow. And I think if you- I believe if you run out of energy the other days, you will... Um, pass out and the Dr. Harvey will come get you. Okay, okay, we have enough for another chest. But just one more. Okay, this chest we're gonna make green and this is gonna contain crops and the likes. Crops, seeds, that sort of thing. Um, edible plants. Food will all go in here. And this is a storage system I found that works the best for me and that like makes the most sense. And then we'll have a third one here. Um, whenever we have enough wood. Oh, we have some extra wood here. We put that away. Put that away. I'm gonna put my bamboo pole away just so I don't forget. Um, and get it back out. <laughs> and then we're gonna go donate this drum and see if we can't find a couple more townspeople before it gets too late. Um, I know the ladies have aerobics in here, but I think it might be over. On Tuesdays they do like yoga or something. No, it's still happening. Okay. This is a good group of them. We haven't met Robin officially yet. There we go. Ah, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Marnie's sweet. I'm going to sleep well tonight. Yeah, because she's doing aerobics. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. I wish you could marry Jody. Oh, my arms feel like gelatin. I thought she was a single mom for the first, like, chunk of the game um, that I played in my other world. Because I, I didn't pay attention to the dialogue. I would just click through it. And I was like, oh, she's a single mom. Like, why can't I marry her? Why won't you let me marry this single mom? Like, I really wanted to marry her. And then I figured out that it's because she's married. <laughs> and that is why I would not let me marry her. Oh, right. We're going to the museum. Actually, I think the museum's closed. I think we missed it. I think it closes at 6. We'll get the drum donated tomorrow. We'll play we'll play a little longer. But I am very tired. I get quite bored of early game Stardew as well very, very easily. Um, so I don't want to sit and do too much because I don't want it to get boring for you guys. Sorry, taking a drink. Um, so we've leveled up a skill. We've leveled up foraging. Um, at level five and ten of each skill, you get to pick an option, and I'm going to go on 
search up what the best one is because I forget and I always pick the wrong one and then I have to change it later and it costs a lot of money to change it so yeah all right this will probably will probably oh Clint uh hi there good morning I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore that's good we did hit a wiggle worm spot and get ore if you want to get the most of the ores you find you'll need a furnace just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints right now lying around here i want you to have them this will probably be our last day learned how to craft a furnace yeah we learned crafting recipes through a couple different ways the furnace allows you to smelt metal bars the bars can be used for crafting construction and tool upgrades yeah when you smelted a few copper bars considering having me upgrade one of your tools it can make your work a lot easier well okay i'm heading home take it easy Okay, it's raining so we don't have to water things which is nice um the rain kind of hurts my eyes though Ooh, there's some plants up here that we can collect i want to get this bigger backpack as soon as i can because that is really really nice to have craft a furnace yep that's one of our requests i think we i don't think we have everything we need to craft it though right now okay there's a couple people we need to meet in this house um i think we've got most people okay oh we need the saloon owner a couple kids and sebastian and that's just about it um but i don't want things to be too boring for you guys so we're gonna keep going around searching our trash cans and things they can the lid of the trash can can actually pop off and turn into a hat and it is one of my favorite hats in the game <laughs> so we will be trash can head for a while see we can get cute little things out of it um that was a maple seed which we can plant to grow into a tree they're relatively common sometimes you just get actual trash out of them which you can later refine into materials and good things. Okay, we have to remember to talk to Willie every day. Some fish come and go with the seasons. Others only come out at night or in the rain. Yep, that's very true. Um, so certain kinds of fish you can only catch in certain seasons in Stardew. And again, like like you said, you can only catch some when the rain when it's raining, some when it's you know like nighttime, some when it's daytime, like that sort of thing um you can i can look up like tables of them online you guys can as well if you're curious um but whenever we need to catch a fish a certain kind of fish we're gonna have to check um the wiki <laughs> pretty much and see um what type it what, what what fish or when and where we need to fish at least i'm only um some of them are only in the river and if we need one that's only in the river and we're fishing for it in a lake then that's not gonna do us much good so we need to meet a couple people in this house Sebastian's actually really hard to meet um, because he's in his room so late and by the end of the day I'm usually done socializing with the people okay there we go we can go in places at nine so this is one of the kids we have to meet oh a stranger my name's Vincent mama says not to talk to strangers but you seem okay thank you Vincent I'm glad I seem okay uh, uh we've already met Jodie but we'll talk to her what did you say it's 9 20 a.m already my goodness I still have tons of work to do yeah it's only 9.20 a.m., Jody. It's okay. And then the other little kid lives over here. I thought she lived in that main house for, like, a year in my first world. Um, but she lives in this house. And we still need to meet her. Hopefully she's still in here. Yep, she is. Howdy, Marnie's down here. We'll talk to Marnie. Hey, Day, you look like you're soaked, poor thing. Yeah, it's raining. Uh, Shane lives up in that room, but it looks like he's already gone today. We need to talk to the kiddo that's in this room. Um, we'll just wait for her to come out. I don't want to. I'll take a little break. Sip some tea. And we'll, we'll, we'll wait for her. Yeah. I will need to fix. Let me put in my own. In my discord. To fix those commands. 
Mm. Otherwise, I'll forget. <laughs> okay, it's in the Discord. I looked up and I didn't see her for a second and I was worried that she left. Okay, here she comes. Um, Jess, hi. Hi, Jess. There we go. Who else do we need? I want to get the rest of the people. Sebastian, we need Harvey, and we need the shop owner. Cool. Hi, Lewis. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved the house. Yeah. He probably did. I mean, he talked about it like it was his pride and joy, so... All right, let's see if we can't get um, Harvey from the clinic. Maru works at the clinic as well. I hadn't noticed how the footsteps changed too much before, but it's a lot easier to hear when it's on the TV like this. There he is. We'll need him. What? Harvey. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. He's trying to escape us. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you find your own work equally rewarding in time. Okay. If you run at them long enough, it will they'll shake a little bit and then you can pass through them. Which is nice. And then it should just be Gus and um, Sebastian. I'm just going to keep accepting the quests from there. Oh, we need to drop the drama off. I almost forgot. I used to try to sort everything, um, but now I don't worry about it too much. Hi, Pam. I'll have to check with you guys and see if you want me to read the like day-to-day -day dialogue or if you're not as interested in like just the random greetings. Um, cause I can skip through them or I can read them out. Cutscene. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Yeah. Yeah, my head just hurts. What's this? You found something? Let me see it, Gunther. Gunther's so, like... I forget the word. For the way he dresses, but it's like, he's so... it just got such an interesting way of dressing. Remarkable. That's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm, I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. We will. We'll donate to him. He gives you cool things. Um, not a ton of them are the most useful, in my opinion. But um, he gives you a key to the sewer, which is absolutely essential um, for the path that I plan on taking in this game. There we go. This is a book by Marnie. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day, and they prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though. Happy animals produce higher quality products. That one's just on using fertilizer, which is a pretty easy to learn. Hi, Penny. We don't have a school here, but I'm doing my best to give Vincent and Jas a proper education. Every child deserves a chance to be successful. Yeah, why don't we have a school? Jas is very good at math and reading. Vincent is good at, well, he has an active imagination. Okay, and we get money for donating to the museum. I think, do we have the quest to give someone a gift yet? No, it's after we do the introductions. Okay, um, we're gonna head up to where Sebastian lives now. And see, oh, we can stop by the saloon on our way over there. Sometimes he hangs out at the saloon. You can drink beer at the saloon and it'll make you run a bit strange, but it's expensive. But maybe one one of the days we play, we'll, we'll have some beer at the saloon. Okay, no one's here yet, so we'll just talk to Gus. And then run up and see if we can't find Sebastian. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star 
Star Drop Saloon. Good evening, can I get you anything? All right, there we go. And then it's just Sebastian and the wizard who we have not unlocked yet. But I think we will soon. I've done everything I need to to get the cutscene. I just don't know like when. Oh, hi Abigail. The valley looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? Eh. Mm, let's see if we can run into Sebastian. Also, if you guys see wiggle worms and I miss them, go ahead and call them out in chat and we can go back and find them together. Because there's um, some useful things in them. Okay, I guess he's not out and about yet. Um, we'll talk to these folks first, his family. The rain doesn't stop me from getting a job done. Although Soggy Wood isn't a joy to work with. I bet not. I feel like Soggy anything isn't a joy to work with. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Maybe I'll stop by your place someday and check it out. Oops. When it rains, I have a good excuse to work on my gadgets all day. It must be kind of boring for you, though. Nah. I don't love having to water all the crops. I just want to make sure he is. He's not in his room. Where is he? Okay. Well, we'll go find him. He might be on his way to the saloon. We might have just missed him. But I know he'll be there eventually. He hangs out with Abigail and Sam there. They're all friends. They're all older than I thought they were. Because someone did, like, a series of, like, TikToks finding out Stardew Valley people's ages. And, like, um, Sebastian is, like, old enough that he could have graduated college by now. Whereas I think a lot of people assume he's a teenager. Is he not here? Oh, he he isn't. Sam's here, though. Nothing like an ice-cold Joja Cola on a sopping wet day, huh? Just kidding. Nothing? Oh, he's just gonna repeat that. Some of them, if you're in certain situations, will repeat the dialogue over and over again. And we can't talk to Abigail because we already talked to her. Eventually, you'll be able to play some of the arcade games. Emily's here for work. Alex. Hmph, this is not good weather for sports. Oh well, I can always lift weights inside. Sometimes he lifts weights shirtless inside. Which, like, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. He lives with his grandparents, so it's like a little sketch. It never rains in Calico Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. I wish I could have visited her today. Yeah. Um, We'll eventually unlock the desert and be able to go there. And see Sandy and meet her. I don't know where Sebastian is. There's Pam. Hi, Pam. She's a penny in the trailer. I already talked to her, I guess. They live in that trailer. Hi, Penny. Pretty sure I talked to you, yeah. We'll just hang around the saloon. Oh, sometimes Sebastian goes to the beach. I bet he's down there. Oops, hi. Maybe I should cook something new and exciting today. Something spicy. Ooh, you could. Um, I want to try and befriend everyone pretty quick because it can be hard. It can, it can really stop your game progression later on. Here he is. I need to meet you. Oh, you just moved in right. Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Yep. Give someone a gift. All right. I don't know what Willie likes, but I know most of the girls, like dandelions um we can give this one to leah i believe she likes dandelions i'm not sure though now i'm like what if she doesn't i know emily likes dandelions we'll give the dandelion to emily i i'm nervous about giving people gifts they don't like when i have so little um friendship points with them okay we'll talk to shane some when berry season starts we'll be able to get berries and give them to people no, I don't have time to chat with you right now. See, he's just a jerk. I don't get why people like him. I already talked to Harvey today. So we've met everyone. Except the wizard, who we can't meet. So it's okay. It doesn't count him. And we've given someone a gift. Alright, I would say this has been a productive Stardew Valley session. We're only on day three, so we're still pretty early in the game. Um, we haven't unlocked the mine or anything yet. But we will do that next time. We will catch it next time. And we'll do a little fishing and hopefully get the community center on unlocked. But for now, we're going to do everything on camera. Um, so I'm not going to do stuff in between streams. We're just going to we're just going to do it all all here. OK. Go to sleep so we can save our game. 
and thank you all for coming out. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And I will. Um, let's close out to the main menu. What's over here? Exit to title. Yes. And then I will find someone for you guys to raid. Right over to you. Um, do we want to do Ford again? We've been raiding Ford a lot, but he's just lovely. I've been hanging out in his stream, um, just vibing there lately, because I absolutely adore um, his streams. They're really relaxing, even though it's dead by daylight. So we'll raid, we'll raid Ford. Go show us Ford some love. I'm not going to be able to stay long with you guys there, um, because... His streams are just a touch high energy for migrained me, but I'm gonna eat something and we're gonna visit him. Ooh, he's cosplaying Ghostface! Go check out his ghosty cosplay, folks. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out. I love you all. And off we go. Oh my gosh, I forgot to hit stop streaming. Anyway.